Woodpecker tutorial, how to get started with Woodpecker for email marketing. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be getting started with our email marketing campaigns for our business with Woodpecker. So Woodpecker allows you to create amazing conversations in your emails, especially if you're doing a lot of email marketing with cold emails, this can be a great tool. Plus it is available for free. There is no credit card required to get started and you will get a free trial for seven days. Then you have multiple different purchase options where you can purchase it monthly, annually, and depending on the number of emails that you want to send, you can, uh, you know, increase the number of emails you want to send. And if you want to send as many as you'd like, you have a flat rate of $59 monthly and you get one free bonus slot included. Plus, you also get A-B testing and you can choose to include API keys for uh, around six more dollars. And you also have, you know, free warm up and recovery for each slot, email verification and much more. Now to get started, simply click on get free trial on the top right. Once you click on get free trial, it will lead you to a sign up page. The sign up page is pretty simple. Just enter some basic information. And once you do that, you will just click on sign up. You just have to enter your email address and we will wait for our website to be loaded and to complete our little setup process for Woodpecker so we can get started with sending out emails. Now you guys can see this is going to be what the Woodpecker forms look like. So this is your dashboard on Woodpecker. On the top, you have this amazing navigation panel where you can manage your campaigns. Prospects. Prospect basically means all of the clients that you have or basically your leads. And then after that, you have your deliverability. So this allows you to monitor your emails that you're sending out. You can see warm up emails, reports on them. So you can get, you know, a general stat for a specific campaign. You can uh, open up the click through rate that you have as well. Then you have your inbox. So if you want to, uh, you know, manage all of your emails directly from here you can also do that and you can send reply and do all of that from here as well and then you have templates so let's get started with building our first uh, campaign which might be for a welcome email so let's say you want to uh, get started with sending up uh, with creating like a welcome email for people that have signed up to your newsletter that's a very basic kind of email and for this the first thing you want to do before you get started with sending emails is to definitely add your prospects now to add prospects all you have to do is click on prospects and click on add prospects on the right side now you have three options you can add it in the form of a integration you can integrate any of your pre-existing crm tool or any pre-existing database that you have or you can import it in the form of a csv file you can do that as well and then if you don't have either of those if you're just starting out your business you can just click on import over here uh, you can just click on manually over here in your prospect section and you can manually add all of your potential customers so let's say so i can just add the email then i can enter the first name last name imported the company that they work for the website, the LinkedIn, obviously, depending on what you're using this for, your fields will look different, obviously, because if you're just promoting your own product, if you're using this as like an email marketing tool for your website, then you really don't need to add the company or imported all of that information. But if you're using this uh, platform to manage your business, to manage your website and you know you're trying to contact your suppliers and manage all of those kinds of emails then you definitely have to add all of that information as well now once you have entered your prospects you want to head on over to templates over here click on create email template so let's say i want to build like a very basic welcome template and let's say i want to send this to my suppliers or to all of the people that i'm doing business with so this will not be directed towards customers rather than that. It would be directed towards people that we're working with. So business partners, suppliers, uh, uh, you know, other people like that. So the subject is, so I, because even though this is a welcome email, I can't really open up with welcome to Durden because uh, it might be a partnership. It might be a contractor. So I don't want to just say, you know, welcome to our business. So I just want to be thank you for working with us. 
So whatever you want to write out in your email, you can enter that. Obviously, your email is going to be a lot longer, but you want to include, you know, headings or pictures, any of that. You can add that from the bottom. You can see you have multiple different font options. So let's say I want to make this bold. I can just select that, make it bold. You have other font options. You can insert links. You can add text to HTML. You have codes and you also have text formatting. So you can do all of that. And then on the bottom over here, you have snippets. You also have Calendly links. You also have insert images and copy paste as well. And after that, once you've designed your template, you can just click on save. And if you're having difficulty in writing, you can even just uh, simply use ChatGPT or any other AI to write a basic template for you. And once you've entered your template over here, you can get started with your campaign. So once you have your prospects, then your templates, then you want to go back into campaigns and you want to click on add campaign over here. You can click on connect email and you're just going to connect whichever email address you want to use to send your emails from. So what is going to be the email address that your customers or your business partners are going to see at the start of your emails? That is the one you want to link. It can be Gmail, Office 360, Microsoft Exchange, whatever email address you're using, or you can directly configure it from the bottom. So even if you're using something like Yahoo Mail, then you can link it directly from here. And it just takes a couple of seconds for it to configure your account. So just like that, we have like our basic uh, email connected. Now, after that, you have to enter a potential name, the name you want to send your, the name you want to use to send all of your emails from, and then you can paste in a signature. If you're using eSign, then you definitely want to include that. I don't have an e-signature, so I just really don't need it. And you can also add your CRM address. And that, I'm just going to save it from here. You can change that later on as well. And now I'm just going to click on OK over here. And just like that, I can get started with my campaign. So you will see the email and you can CC or BCC, which basically means you can send it to these respective emails as well. And uh, you're just going to first off just set it up. So you have your subject and you can, you know, enter your email from here or even just paste it. Uh, and you can even create tasks as well. So you can send them in the form of emails, but I just want to send out a basic email. First off, I'm going to schedule it and I'm going to schedule it on the 11th and I can add a condition. So let's say if a prospect is has a email is not empty. So as long as there is a email, I want to send it. So yes. And then you're going to enter your email. You can enter whatever you want. You can see even they are recommending. They also have their AI integrated over here. So you can just directly use that. And you can integrate your template as well, whatever you want. So after that, what you want to do is you have on the right side, you have the scheduling date. So let's say I only want to send this once on Monday. And I can optimize the time later on as well after sending it out. And after that, I have add step if I want to add any more steps to this. But if I don't, I really don't have to. You can add weights and follow ups, all that, but you really don't need to do it. Then after that, you have your prospect. So which prospect should this email go to? And then you will get a basic summary. You will get all these steps and then you will get the prospect scheduled. And then you can click on run or preview. This is obviously uh, a sample one, so I really don't need to send out a actual email but if it's no that what I want to do is I want to delete the email so if a email is not added I just want it to be empty I'm going to delete that pathway over here and after that I can just click on run over here and I will just activate my account from my email address and then I can just run this campaign I can do a b testing on the top right you will see running then you will have stats on the email uh, campaign after you start running it you can get stats and you can find all of that in your deliverability section so that is how you can get started with woodpecker i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video